Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. Welcome to another episode of the Glow Getter series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get that beautiful glowing glass-like skin only by using Indian skincare products. There are some incredible Indian homegrown brands that have made some beautiful skincare which I'm going to be using in this video. Now, this is a very simple and easy to do morning skincare routine, which even beginners can follow. So if you're new to skincare, this is a very simple skincare routine, which you can do literally under 10 minutes. Now, if you're new here, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and you've also hit the notification bell. Do also follow me on my Instagram account. And now without further ado, let's dive right into this video. The first product in the morning skincare routine should be a good cleanser. I like to use something that's gentle on the skin yet cleanses the face very well. What I have here is the Forest Essentials Saffron and Neem Face Wash. Now the good thing about this face wash is that even sensitive skin people can use this because this is very gentle on the skin. I have however put together my favorite face washes. If you missed that video I'm going to link it right above here. Now it's very simple. I'm just going to take this uh, on my fingertips and just wash my face with it. The one thing that I do like to do, I have mentioned this in a lot of other videos, is that I like to massage the face cleanser into my skin for at least 60 seconds. That way your skin gets cleansed quite well. You do have to make sure that you do not do it more than 60 seconds. I understand that you get a feeling that you're cleansing your face really well, but that just rips off the natural oils of your skin. So whether you're very oily skin also, make sure that you're cleansing your face not more than 60 seconds. The other face washes that I really like besides uh, the Forest Essentials one for morning in particular is the Suganda Centella Green Tea Face Wash and the Pure by Priyanka Rose Gold Face Wash. Both are very gentle and they suit a lot of skin types and they are very mild and gentle cleansers. Once you wash your face as a general practice, just make sure that you are patting your skin and not dragging your face because that way if you drag your skin quite a lot, you tug on your skin it will just lead to premature aging and you definitely don't want that. Also, a lot of tugging and scrubbing your face gives you rashes. So the best practice, irrespective of whatever face wash cleanser that you're using, is that once your face is wet and it's cleansed, you make sure that you pat your skin. Now that we have a clean canvas, it's time to put some hydration back into the skin, followed by some good skincare. In this very sticky monsoon weather, I love using a rose water. If you've been following me, you would already know my most favorite rose water is this one from Kama Ayurveda. It's very gentle on the skin and rose water is one of the best toners, guys. It works on any skin, whether you have acne prone skin, you have breakouts happening like cystic acne, or even if you have combination dry sensitive, this is something that I really like and I usually also use this as a facial mist as well. The other rose water that I'm liking quite a lot, uh, I only got my hands on this recently but using this way too much in my skincare is from Just Herbs. Uh, this is also a facial mist, it's a rose water. One can use it during the day and also as a toner. So today I'm going to go ahead and use the Just Herbs one because the Kama Ayurveda one is something that I use anyway quite a lot. I like to shake all the toners, all the rose waters together because uh, this has steam distilled rose water. It's alcohol free and no fragrance whatsoever, both in Kama Ayurveda and this one. But you do want to shake the goodness inside the bottle all together before you actually spritz it all over your face. Now, I really like the mist on this one in particular. It's very, very even. And uh, I'll let this air dry for about 30 seconds and then go on with the third skincare step. Now I'm going to go ahead and apply a facial serum. And if you've been following me on my YouTube, you would know that I love a vitamin C serum in the daytime because it reverses sun damage. It evens out your skin tone and actually brightens your skin tone as well. But vitamin C has to be used in a very correct way, guys. Otherwise, it can be damaging for your skin as well. I'll tell you what is the correct way of using vitamin C. I have two here that I have been alternating between for the past couple of months and these are the two that I'm talking about. Suganda Antioxidant Serum and the Pure by Priyanka Vitamin C Serum. You have uh, heard me talking about the Suganda one. So today I'm going to use the Pure by Priyanka one. Now this has 15% potency. They say on the packaging this is for oily normal combination skin but even dry skin type people can use this. Now, the only thing with this vitamin C is that it is tacky on the skin for the first few seconds. So you leave it on for about 30 to 45 seconds, then apply your moisturizer. This has a mix of hyaluronic acid, which is going to hydrate your skin. This has L-ascorbic acid in the form of vitamin C. 
Then this has go to cola and liquorice extract. Now liquorice basically brightens your skin. So both of the ingredients, that's hyaluronic acid and liquorice extract with the vitamin C L ascorbic acid work really well. I'm gonna shake this very well. I do that with all my serums and toners, like I said. If you're a beginner, you don't wanna drop it directly on your face. You wanna mix a few drops in your moisturizer, but since I have been using vitamin C for a very long time now, I'm gonna use this directly onto my face. I will use literally four drops and I'm not taking very big drops. You can see right here and then I am just going to very gently spread it all over my face. I don't want to massage this a lot, but I more want to pat this into my skin. Now I'm going to leave this, like I said, for at least 30 to 45 seconds for my skin to absorb this because both Sugandha and uh, this one from Pure by Priyanka are a little bit tacky and they take their time to get absorbed into the skin, but they do. So you have to give your serum a little bit time so let this sit for about 30 seconds and I'll be right back. Now that my skin has absorbed the vitamin C serum, I'm going to go ahead and apply a moisturizer. The one that I have been liking quite a lot lately is the Neemly Naturals Argan and Rose Day Cream. Now these days my skin has been a little bit on the drier side, so I like this moisturizer. Having said that, it's not a very thick one. I like the consistency. It's very good for my combination skin. It's lightweight, but if you're very oily skin, you are likely not to like this. But if you're combination and dry, this is a good day cream to have. It's lightweight and uh, works very well under makeup and sunscreen as well. I'm going to take a little bit, start from the center of my face and then my forehead start to spread out. And then again, we don't want to forget the neck because every skincare that goes on your face goes down your neck as well. Now I'm going to let this sit also for about 30 seconds and then go on to the next skincare step. Moving on to the next skincare step, you can also do this after applying your facial serum. I usually do it after applying facial serum or moisturizer, both ways is perfectly all right, is using an eye cream and under eye cream. I like to use both during the day and night because it's very important to keep your under eye area hydrated. I have two here. The first one is a DIY, which I whipped up myself. If you haven't seen this video, I'm going to link it right above here. The other eye cream that I really like during the day in particular, because it's only hydrating, it does not do anything else, but it hydrates the skin very well underneath your eyes, is the Biotique Seaweed Revitalizing Anti-Fatigue Eye Gel. It's a very affordable product and does the job of hydrating the under eye area very well. I'm going to go ahead and use my DIY right here because this really has helped me in my dark circles and I was getting a few fine lines underneath my eyes so this has uh, helped in that also even if you have crow's feet. So many of you messaged me that you've used this, you DM'd me on my Instagram, left a comment on my YouTube videos also that you whipped this up for yourself and you really like this product. I personally am uh, honestly loving this because this is so easy to whip up and, you know, so easy to store in the refrigerator. I love the fact, the cooling sensation that I'm getting underneath my eyes. Also, this works very well under makeup. So this is something I am and uh, have been using for the past some time, both during day and night. Moving on to the next step of skincare and a very important one at that. You would already know what I'm talking about because I've stressed on this point more than enough in most of my videos. That is using a good sunscreen, especially if you have used vitamin C. Now, the correct way of using a vitamin C serum is that you have to, guys, top it up with a good sunscreen because otherwise it will oxidize the moment it comes in contact with light and sunlight in specific. The uh, sunscreen that I have been liking for indoors these days is the Sunkissed Mineral Sunscreen from the brand Pure by Priyanka. I've been using this quite a lot lately. I love the texture for my combination skin. Having said that, if you are someone who's very oily or acne prone skin, you may not like this because this is a little bit of a thick texture like you see here. But dry skin, combination skin, even if you're oily skin, you're likely to like this product. And you have to make sure that you're taking a good amount of sunscreen. Please be generous with it and take at least that much. This one in particular spreads out really, really well. I'm going to start from the center of my face and then just spread it out. This has carrot seed oil, which is a natural source of SPF. This has 30 SPF, this sunscreen in particular, which is more than enough uh, while you're indoors. And then this also has sea buckthorn oil, which is very good for the skin, keeps your skin hydrated. Many a times I would just use this instead of my moisturizer because this doubles up as a sunscreen and also as a moisturizer. 
like you see this has hydrated my skin very well as well do not forget your neck please like i keep mentioning and reiterating and very important take a little bit on your ring finger and then just pat underneath your eyes you have to be careful with this step because uh, you don't want your sunscreen to go inside your eyes and irritate your eyes but you do want to make sure that you're applying this underneath your eyes as well now that we've added good amount of hydration onto the skin and done some good skincare for the day the last step of this skincare routine would be to use a good lip balm i like to keep my lips very hydrated whether it's day morning evening the one that i'm going to use today is this one from blue heaven it's called their lip balm it is very hydrating on the lips i've already gone ahead and applied some because uh, my lips are a little bit dehydrated but i don't mind adding another layer i also like to scrub my lips at least once a week to get rid of any kind of uh, pigmentation on the lips or just to scrub away dead skin as well i am going to link in the description box the ones that i really like so guys with that it's a wrap i hope you like this video and found it helpful let me know in the comment section below if you'd like me to do a similar skincare routine using indian skincare products for nighttime skincare as well and i'd be more than happy to film it for you guys now if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and also hit the notification bell and until i see you next guys thank you so much for watching love you all bye bye